Hey guys, so I'm on my way to go pick up a grocery order from Walmart. I'm in my husband's car because we have a like single lane driveway and can't get to my car. And his was already all cleaned off and all I had to do was warm it up, so why not? So I thought I'd take a second while I'm getting ready to go to check in. How are you doing on your uh, holiday time goals? I wanted to do this yesterday, but it just didn't happen. How did you do for Thanksgiving? I did great. Here is a picture of my Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, after that, I had keto cheesecake, which I made, and I will be sharing uh, that recipe and showing you how I made that and what that all looked like. That will be coming probably tomorrow. I'm going to be trying a couple of other keto-friendly cheesecakes and uh, different kinds of desserts because we made it through Thanksgiving, and I'm so happy and so proud to report that I stayed right on track, and it went really, really well. I'm so happy, um, and I hope things are going well for you, too. If they didn't, no worries. Let's jump right back on. But we are heading right into, like, the smorgasbord season of treats and sweets and carbs and craziness, right? And people are going to be bringing over plates of homemade goodies, and, and it's just going to be nuts. Everywhere you go, there's going to be treats. What are you going to do? <laughs> um, what I'm going to do, my plan is to have treats, keto-friendly treats like Atkins bars or some of my pre-made cookies. I'll bring you along for those and have them like in Tupperwares or baggies in my pockets. I'm not using a purse really anymore, so they'll just have to like be with me somehow <laughs> or maybe just have them in the car so that anywhere and everywhere I go, I have something for that holiday sweet tooth so that I'm not like just going crazy on everything. Uh, my family and I, we will be making different sweets. I have kids, we're, we're gonna be baking, we're gonna do some things. Uh, but I figure as long as I'm making some keto-friendly stuff right along with the ones that I'm making with my kids, like we're gonna make real gingerbread for gingerbread houses, I can make something else for myself. You know, have, is there a such thing as a keto gingerbread? I don't know, but we're gonna find out, okay? So I'll be making all these goodies and treats with my kids, but I'm also going to be making things for myself. I'm going to be bringing things for myself to any of the festivities that we happen to attend so that I always have options. And guys, it doesn't take that long. I mean, take a day where you spend like three hours busting out cookies and cakes and pies or whatever that are all friendly to what you're trying to accomplish and then package those up, freeze some, put them in little baggies, have them in different places in your different cars, uh, different rooms in the house so that when those things happen, have them by the front door, you know, because there's going to be those neighbors bringing over the treats. Have your sweets right by the front door so that they're reminding you. I know this sounds nuts, but how else are you going to stick with this through the holidays? Come on, guys. <laughs> um, but have them where you can see them. If it's out of sight, it's out of mind. And you should be doing that with the stuff that you don't want to be partaking of. But guys, you're going to be surrounded by it. It's, it's just going to be flooding in, okay? So have in view the things that you do want to consume, the things that will help you reach your goals and help you stay on track through the holidays. I will regularly be checking in so that we can keep each other on track and, and accountable and somehow survive the holidays and stick to our goals and accomplish those things that we're trying so hard to make happen. I'm in pain. Guys, my knees, they hurt. My back, it hurts all the time. I can't keep holding on to this. I'm 38 years old. Before you know it, I'll be 40, 50, whatever, and it just gets more difficult and more painful, harder to do. Now is the time. At whatever age you are, now is the time. The longer you wait, the harder it will become and the worse the damage will become to your joints and to your insides and everything else by holding on to, and, and to your brain, to your mind, to your soul, by holding on to all that excess weight and pressure. I got to get it off. I'm tired of, of having to pop ibuprofen every, you know, five or six hours and then piggyback it with Tylenol. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of waking up in pain, of going to bed in pain, going up the stairs and being in pain. I'm just done with it. Hopefully you are too and are committed and ready to find ways to make this happen, even through the holidays. All right. I believe in you. I believe in me. Let's do this. I got to go pick up my groceries, many of which are keto friendly. I'll see y'all real soon.